where do they kind of cut off with the Cavacantes, which is homegrown to New Jersey? Okay, so l let me start. Joe DiNapoli is a Lucchese captain that was in prison with me in Allenwood. His brother Vinny was also a captain with the Genovese family. Wow. These guys were in prison with me. Uh, Vinny was more out there. To, he passed away since, but he was more out there talking. Of, Joe was very quiet. And Joe was involved with Michael Perna. Back, uh, it's got to be about seven years ago, they were involved in a bookmaking operation yeah. in Freehold, New Jersey, at, at a gym called Elite Gym. There was uh, all kinds of police at 5.30 in the morning, uh, lights and uh, FBI, and it was a joint task force. So I look out my window because I live on a corner of where it's going on. I actually go to the gym and it's literally on a corner from where I live. And I just got home and uh, I walk down a block to see what's going on. Cause originally I'm looking out the window. I said, is this for me? You know, and I just got home. So I'm, I'm wondering, and uh, it was for uh, Perner and uh, Joe DiNapoli. And Joe's a quiet guy. I don't personally know Perner. I heard things about him, but I'll give the history. Yeah. In the Lucchese family, the Jersey faction, uh, Tumac was the boss. Yeah. And at the time, Vic Amuso takes over in New York, and he calls them in. And uh, he calls in, at that time, Marty uh, Tassetta, yeah. his brother Michael Tassetta, and uh, Tumac. And he wants a, a lot of money off them. He wants, I think it was about 50% of whatever they were making, he wanted them to turn into the New York crew. Okay. And... Uh, Michael and Marty started fighting with Tumac, and there was a hit put on Tumac. Tumac ends up cooperating. And Michael and Marty, uh, eventually, after going on the run, they think they're going to get killed. Uh, they settle it with uh, Vicky Muso and Gaspipe, which obviously powerful bosses. Um, you know, the treachery of that life, the funny thing is the treachery of that life is Marty and Michael – would come on the weekends to see Gotti Sr. at the club when I was there. They'd come every week. Oh, wow. So they're Lucchese guys loyal to the Genovese family, yet they're coming to see Gotti Sr. So they inter <laughs> intertwine, you know, stuff. So I don't know if somewhere along the line that played a factor in why Vic was saying, let's kill these guys. Uh, but they eventually settled it after about a year. Vic calmed down, and uh, they went back into Vic, and they took over. Now, Carlo Tassetta was uh, – in prison with me also. And Carlo it was, an, I actually like Carlo a lot. Very quiet. He looked more like a biker and uh, their relatives, the Desetas yeah. and uh, Pernas. So they're uh, a close knit family. Their sons are all made and uh, the family's uh, been on the street in that, in those areas forever. And uh, so I had a lot of interaction with these guys over the years, not business so much, but personal and jails and, things like that. And Riggy, who was the boss of the Cavacanti family, his son-in-law came to me when he defected away from them for protection in the construction industry, which you met uh, yeah. Sean. Well, he goes by Jimmy, but you met Sean with me several times. Right. So, you know, the, him, I was, uh, I got involved a little bit in taking over some construction sites in, in New York City when I came home and um, in the building trade. But so I have a lot of personal experience with all these guys so so just to so, so <coughs> you're one of the few guys that and i was with you <coughs> we won't say names but it was with you in new jersey you get recognized all over so i was with you in new york with you in new jersey you get recognized wherever you go and i don't just talk talk a junk here this is the truth and uh, and a certain level of deference too because <coughs> of who you were and who you are my question though is if i'm a, if i'm a wise guy in new jersey right and, and you saw both sides when you were with the Gaudis and stuff and, and Jersey was probably like inferior. <coughs> what was Excuse the me. benefit of being a made guy in a Jersey with the New York family over just rolling locally with the Cavacantes and not kicking up 50% and not dealing with the politics? What was it? Did you have more strength? Did you, you know, get more resources? What was the benefit of rolling with the New York guys as a Jersey guy versus rolling locally? Just, just out of curiosity. Well, the Kevin Candy family actually was involved. Ricky was actually involved with Gotti. Okay. And they ended up getting him locked up. So, the, but the advantage, obviously, is the power behind the New York families. Got it. So, although you got a kick, which they didn't want to kick that kind of percentage, yeah. and they were running basically on their own wild at the beginning. I'm talking about the Lucchese guys. Correct. And when Vic pulled them in, uh, you know, people don't want to give up money. Uh, so, 
you know, the idea of giving up money, but also the, there's an increase of money when you get involved with that power structure. So there's more, there was an availability of construction, bookmaking on a different level with uh, the New York faction, obviously. And, and again, they didn't have any choice, even if they went against it, they would have lost their lives. I mean, they could have maybe tried to, you know, contest it and fight back, which 